Diabetic neuropathy refers to loss of nerve function that affects individuals suffering from long-standing diabetes. Diabetic neuropathy affects the nerves that carry sensations, control movements or regulate the function of the heart, digestive tract, urinary system and the sweat glands. One or several nerves may be affected resulting in the following symptoms. Numbness, tingling, sharp or burning sensations. Mild to severe pain at rest or with a slight touch. A mildly painful stimulus can cause severe pain. Muscle weakness. The foot may be difficult to lift off the ground. Loss of sensations which may begin in the toes, move upward in the legs and then affect the fingers and arms. It may also affect the chest and abdomen. Loss of balance with eyes closed. Abnormal heart rate and rhythm. Dizziness while changing position from lying to sitting or standing. Digestive symptoms like heartburn, difficulty with swallowing, loss of appetite, feeling of fullness, vomiting after eating, constipation or diarrhea. Problems with emptying urine and sexual function. Abnormal sweating. The poor control of blood sugar levels is one of the main reasons for the development of diabetic neuropathy. Other conditions like high cholesterol levels, hypertension, smoking and alcohol intake increase the risk of developing the neuropathy. Medications are available for the treatment of diabetic neuropathy, but they often do not cure the condition. Treatment is usually directed to relieving symptoms. Pregabalin and duloxetine are used to treat diabetic neuropathy. Amitriptyline, gabapentin, valproate, opioids, Locally applied capsaicin or lignocaine patches are other medications that could be used to relieve the pain. Medications are also used to treat the diabetes, blood pressure problems, constipation, erection problems and other symptoms caused by neuropathy as well as conditions like hypertension and high cholesterol levels which can worsen neuropathy. Self-care is very important in a condition like diabetic neuropathy. The blood glucose levels should be under tight control with medications, a planned diet and regular checkups. Though the existing symptoms may not improve, a normal blood sugar level can prevent worsening of the neuropathy. Since the pain sensations are lost in the feet, care of the feet is extremely important to prevent injury and subsequent infection, which is often difficult to treat in diabetes patients. Avoid activities that could injure the feet, like walking barefoot on a rough surface. Special shoes may be required if the feet are misshapen. Avoid tight socks. Change the socks every day. Take special care to dry the skin between the toes. Regular trimming of the toenails and the use of proper and comfortable footwear could protect the feet. The feet should be checked daily and any skin problems should be immediately treated. Go for a regular foot check to the doctor who may be able to find some problem that you have missed. Physical therapy could help to treat muscle weakness. Pain relieving techniques like transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation can be tried after approval from the doctor. Occupational therapy helps to carry out activities of daily living. Balance training is useful in case of loss of balance. Follow an exercise routine approved by doctor to remain active. Smoking and alcohol, which can damage the nerves, should be avoided. Vitamin B12 and folic acid, which are important for nerves, should be taken as supplements. Adequate salt and fluid intake and using a support hose could help to avoid the low blood pressure while rising from a lying down position. Confirm with the doctor regarding how much salt is okay since too much could cause hypertension. Rise from a lying position slowly. Move to a sitting position and remain seated by the side of the bed for some time. Move your feet and hands before getting up. Fix timings to drink fluids and empty the bladder. The doctor may advise you to pass a small tube into the bladder to empty it on a regular basis. The dependency on a caregiver increases with the appearance of complications. It is therefore necessary to encourage the patient to visit the doctor regularly to maintain a normal blood glucose level and detect complications at the earliest.
Learn about the condition. If possible, attend the doctor appointments with the patient. Encourage the patient to be independent, but be there when the patient may need. If the patient suffers from digestive problems, provide small and frequent meals. Raise the head end of the bed to prevent heartburn. Encourage the person to walk for at least 30 minutes a day and avoid sitting for long time. Since the nerve pain can affect the mood and cause anxiety or depression, monitor the patient for mood changes and consult a specialist if necessary. Make the home safe by reducing clutter and objects that could result in injury. Adopt diet, exercise and other lifestyle changes along with the patient. Provide foods rich in fibre and plenty of fluids to prevent constipation.